Well, hello. Welcome to another flip video lesson with me, Mr. Volkman. This flip video is titled Characteristics of a Civilization. This is for chapter 5.3 through 5.9. Now, if you notice in my smaller text here, I have chapters 5.3, 5.8 and 5.9 and above that I say part one and the reason because of this is because there's so much information in these chapters I've decided to split this series into two parts this is part one let's begin shall we now as a reminder there were seven characteristics of a civilization the first was a stable food supply followed by technology writing and then we had arts, religion, government, and social structure. Now, if you're a really smart individual, you may have realized that these larger fonted words are going to be the topics of this particular flipped video. Now, I have these characteristics in two, two groups. This first group is gonna to have to do with technology. Whereas the second group has more to do with culture and how people lived. The first characteristic of a civilization is that they need to have a stable food supply. Now, you may be wondering, why is it important for a civilization to have a stable food supply? That is a great thing to wonder. Well, if you didn't have a stable food supply, how would your civilization grow? You see, a stable food supply is like the fuel needed to make your civilization get bigger in terms of population. Now, the civilization assumer had two inventions that allowed their food supply to become stable. And we have actually talked about one. The first one had to do with canals, dams, and reservoirs. You guessed it. They had a good irrigation system, which allowed their crops to thrive in very difficult conditions. The second invention that it gave the Sumer civilization a stable food supply was the plow. As you'll read about in the textbook later, the plow allowed the Sumers to be more efficient in planting their crops. They're able to get it done quicker. The next characteristic of a civilization has to do with technology. Now all civilizations, if they are a civilization, create new tech or new technology. Sumer once again had two big advances. The first was the wheel, which is pretty big. However, they did not use the wheel in the way that we might think they may have used it at first. When they used the wheel at first, they used it on its flat side to make clay pots. As the picture here shows a more modern wheel for making clay. As you can see, the wheel here is on its side, not on its top. Well, somehow they figured out, hey, if we turn the wheel like this, it actually rolls. Wow, we can pull things on carts. Hey, we can make chariots and go and attack people and be much better at doing that attacking, as we can see in this picture. The second huge piece of technology that they created or invented was the arch, which added strength and beauty to their construction, as we can see from this very well-known picture um, from a Sumer city-state. Now, these arches were seen in temple entrances, as well in the homes of upper-class individuals. Now, it's interesting. I wonder why the lower class, more poor people, didn't have these beautiful and strong looking arches. Hmm. The third idea we're going to talk about in this flip video that a civilization has to have is writing. All civilizations have a very developed writing system. It's not just using pictures to represent ideas, it's symbols. The Sumerians created something called cuneiform. Cuneiform is Latin for wedge. Now the stylus that they used to make the cuneiform writing was sharp and pointed. Kind of like you take a chopstick and you kind of whittle down the end of it a little bit. At least that's what I think it looks like. 
Cuneiform was created around 2400 BC. And at first it was really used to record the exchange of goods between people, kind of like a receipt. At first they had over 2,000 symbols for ideas and sounds. That is a lot. Try remembering that and learning that in school when you're like six. It's like the ABCs like turning into the Incredible Hulk. Whoa. They did eventually reduce that to a more reasonable number of 700 symbols. I mean, I don't know about you, I can easily remember 700 symbols. Well, thank you for watching this flip video, part one, on different characteristics of a civilization and how Sumer demonstrated those characteristics. In part two of the characteristics of a civilization, we're going to look at the last four features. Please make sure you go into Enmodo to take the flipped assessment, and I'll see you in class tomorrow. Mr. Volkman! Mr. Vol Mr. Vol uh, I, I missed it. I, I was all ready to like talk about technology and, and the wheel and chariots and, oh.